This is a little raised bed that I've decided to clean up and uh, plant out. Now I took out a zucchini plant, I've left the uh, root ball in there, and that's what you should always do with all your plants. Sometimes they'll grow back, and if they don't, they'll decompose and become a food source for the life in the soil. And that's important, because that's what it's all about, because if the life in the soil is dead, everything else above ground is dead as well. Now this is a basil, you can see it's gone past its use by date. Now I could have picked the leaves earlier on, but I've had a lot of other basils that I've harvested from, so this one I've allowed just to stay on here and allow the seeds to finish off. And this is what we talk about collecting your own seeds. Plenty of seeds there, just from that little tip there. I don't even need all these for one season, but at the end of the day, I can plant them if I want, because they're for free. And that's what I do here. And this is where I'm going with my gardening. If you've watched my journey over the last 25, 30 years uh, in media and all that stuff and traveling around people's homes and checking out their gardens, I started with a big dig garden, rows upon rows, gone into a no dig, still rows, and then I've gone away from rows and started doing multi-planting like this, an assortment of vegetables and flowers together. Now, where I'm going with this is that these little flowers, rather than me growing seedlings, I'm letting my plants, the ones that perform the best, and this is maybe not the best example, but what I should say is that when you find a plant that does really well in one particular location in your garden and it loves it there, chances are when it comes to flower, you should allow it because those flowers, when they set their seed, fall down, chances are then they will germinate and perform even better than the plant before, the mother plant. So what I'm doing here is, for example, like this one here, say it was a really healthy one in summertime, which it was, wasn't as big as the other plant. Plants, I'm allowing the seeds to go to full maturity and allow them to fall down and then when they germinate we call them little volunteers and that's what's going to happen here and eventually the idea is to get basil growing there, tomatoes germinating in the same bed if that's where they like to grow. You may have some spring onions sprouting up and some lettuce, some cos lettuce going to seed as well. All of a sudden season by season you don't get a chance to plant because these germinate on their own and all you're doing is separating them. Have a look at these little darlings. This is curly endives. That's right, curly leaf endives. That's what's germinated here. Now they're starting really small, leave them like that. Don't pull them out yet, they're way too small. Allow them to grow a little bit bigger. They become like this over here. And this is when you start to separate that. I didn't plant them, they grew on their own. I love my endives, I love my chicory, I love my greens. And when they germinate like this on their own, folks, oh, bugger me. Who needs a packet of seeds when it's all in the ground? So allow your plants to go to their full maturity if you're really happy with the way it's performed for that season, no matter what variety it is, allow it to go to seed. Allow some of the seeds to fall down if you're happy with that concept, because you can't go wrong. These are growing in really shit soil as I haven't done anything with this bed besides put a little bit of mulch on it recently. So these beds have been trialled and pushed to the limits to see how good or bad they perform. And yet when they self germinate, that tells you something. They're hardened off and they're acclimatised. Check out our website, VasilisGarden.com. Don't forget to redeem your reward points. I'm starting to lose my mind on it. So take advantage of it before we close this website because all your points that you've accumulated will disappear. And also, Thevedon. 8th till 10th of June will be open again. So if you haven't got your orders in for then, you've got about a week and a bit to get them in before we deliver them to you in Thebiton for you to pick up. VasilisGarden.com for everything you need every day. From me, Vasily, Maresi.